Hi friends. Welcome to Content Factory. Today I am talking about sleep. Sleep is a sedentary state of mind and body. It is characterized by altered consciousness, relatively inhibited sensory activity, reduced muscle activity and reduced interactions with surroundings. It is distinguished from wakefulness by a decreased ability to react to stimuli, but more reactive than a coma or disorders of consciousness. With sleep displaying different, active brain patterns. Sleep occurs in repeating periods, in which the body alternates between two distinct modes, REM sleep and non-REM sleep. Although REM stands for rapid eye movement. This mode of sleep has many other aspects, including virtual paralysis of the body. Dreams are a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. During sleep, most of the body's systems are in an anabolic state, helping to restore the immune, nervous, skeletal, and muscular systems. These are vital processes that maintain mood, memory, and cognitive function, and play a large role in the function of the endocrine and immune systems. The internal circadian clock promotes sleep daily at night. The diverse purposes and mechanisms of sleep are the subject of substantial ongoing research. Sleep is a highly conserved behavior across animal evolution, likely going back hundreds of millions of years. Humans may suffer from various sleep disorders, including dysomnias such as insomnia, hypersomnia, narcolepsy, and sleep apnea, parasomnia such as sleepwalking and rapid eye movement sleep behavior disorder, bruxism, and circadian rhythm sleep disorders. The use of artificial light has substantially altered humanity's sleep patterns. Common sources of artificial light include the screens of electronic devices such as smartphones and televisions, which emit large amounts of blue light, a form of light typically associated with daytime. This disrupts the release of the hormone melatonin needed to regulate the sleep cycle. The most pronounced physiological changes in sleep occur in the brain. The brain uses significantly less energy during sleep than it does when awake. Especially during non-REM sleep. In areas with reduced activity, the brain restores its supply of adenosine triphosphate, the molecule used for short-term storage and transport of energy. In quiet waking, the brain is responsible for 20% of the body's energy use, Thus this reduction has a noticeable effect on overall energy consumption. By the time infants reach the age of two, their brain size has reached 90% of an adult-sized brain. A majority of this brain growth has occurred during the period of life with the highest rate of sleep. The hours that children spend asleep influence their ability to perform on cognitive tasks. Children who sleep through the Night and have few night waking episodes have higher cognitive attainments and easier temperaments than other children. Children can greatly benefit from a structured bedtime routine. This can look differently among families, but will generally consist of a set of rituals such as reading a bedtime story, a bath, brushing teeth, and can also include a show of affection from the parent to the child such a hug or kiss before bed. A bedtime routine will also include a Consistent time that the child is expected to be in bed ready for sleep. Having a reliable bedtime routine can help improve a child's quality of sleep as well as prepare them to make and keep healthy sleep hygiene habits in the future. Sleep increases the sensory threshold. In other words, sleeping persons perceive fewer stimuli, but can generally still respond to loud noises and other salient sensory events. During slow-wave sleep, humans secrete bursts of growth hormone. All sleep, even during the day, is associated with the secretion of prolactin. Awakening can mean the end of sleep or simply a moment to survey the environment and readjust body position before falling back asleep. Sleepers typically awaken soon after the end of a REM phase or sometimes in the middle of REM. Internal circadian indicators, along with a successful reduction of homeostatic sleep need, typically bring about awakening and the end of the sleep cycle. Awakening involves heightened electrical activation in the brain, 
beginning with the thalamus and spreading throughout the cortex. On a typical night of sleep, there is not much time that is spent in the waking state. In various sleep studies that have been conducted using the electroencephalography, it has been found that females are awake for 0 to 1% during their nightly sleep while males are awake for 0 to 2% during that time. In adults, wakefulness increases, especially in later cycles. One study found 3% awake time in the first 90-minute sleep cycle, 8% in the second, 10% in the third, 12% in the fourth and 13 to 14 percent in the fifth. Most of this awake time occurred shortly after REM sleep. Today, many humans wake up with an alarm clock. However, people can also reliably wake themselves up at a specific time with no need for an alarm. Many sleep quite differently on workdays versus days off, a pattern which can lead to chronic circadian desynchronization. Many people regularly look at television and other screens. Before going to bed, a factor which may exacerbate disruption of the circadian cycle. Scientific studies on sleep have shown that sleep stage at awakening is an important factor in amplifying sleep inertia. Sleep timing depends greatly on hormonal signals from the circadian clock, or process C, a complex neurochemical system which uses signals from an organism's environment to recreate an internal day-night rhythm. Process C counteracts the homeostatic drive for sleep during the day and augments it at night. An organism whose circadian clock exhibits a regular rhythm corresponding to outside signals is said to be entrained, an entrained rhythm persists even if the outside signals suddenly disappear. If an entrained human is isolated in a bunker with constant light or darkness, he or she will continue to experience rhythmic increases and decreases of body temperature and melatonin, on a period that slightly exceeds 24 hours. Scientists refer to such conditions as free-running of the circadian rhythm. Under natural conditions, light signals regularly adjust this period downward, so that it corresponds better with the exact 24 hours of an Earth day. Modern humans often find themselves desynchronized from their internal circadian clock due to the requirements of work, long-distance travel, and the influence of universal indoor lighting. Even if they have sleep debt, or feel sleepy, people can have difficulty staying asleep at the peak of their circadian cycle. Conversely, they can have difficulty waking up in the trough of the cycle. A healthy young adult entrained to the sun will fall asleep a few hours. After sunset, experience body temperature minimum at 6 a.m., and wake up a few hours after sunrise. In polyphasic sleep, an organism sleeps several times in a 24-hour cycle, whereas in monophasic sleep this occurs all at once. Under experimental conditions, humans tend to alternate more frequently between sleep and wakefulness if they have nothing better to do, given a 14-hour period of darkness in experimental conditions, humans tended towards bimodal sleep with two sleep periods concentrated at the beginning and at the end of the dark time. Bimodal sleep in humans was more common before the Industrial Revolution. Naps are short periods of sleep that one might take during the daytime, often in order to get the necessary amount of rest. Napping is often associated with childhood. But around one-third of American adults partake in it daily. The optimal nap duration is around 10 to 20 minutes, as researchers have proven that it takes at least 30 minutes to enter slow-wave sleep, the deepest period of sleep. Napping too long and entering the slow-wave cycles can make it difficult to awake from the nap and leave one feeling unrest. This period of drowsiness is called sleep inertia. The siesta habit has recently been associated with a 37% lower coronary mortality, possibly due to reduced cardiovascular stress mediated by daytime sleep. Short naps at midday and mild evening exercise were found to be effective for improved sleep, cognitive tasks, and mental health in elderly people. Subscribe this channel to get more informative videos.